So in this tutorial we're going to show you how to install a Magic Cube PC Wing Compact on a Windows system. So we've got our PC Wing, I've got it set up here already. Uh, the first thing I need to do is install Magic Cube. Their wing drivers come as part of the Magic Cube download. So I'm going to go to the Campsys website and on the download page you'll find here the different downloadable options. So we have the Windows installer, that's what we need for a Windows PC. The other options you've got, Magic Cube's cross-platform, so you can install Magic Cube on a Mac, Linux system, and then these are our console builds, so these are specifically downloads for console hardware. Because we're on a PC, we're going to take the Windows download, I'm going to take the latest stable download, and I'm going to download that. The first time you download Magic Q, or when you come back onto the site, you need to enter a username and password to access the download site. There's no special sign-up needed for that, all you need to do is register with an email address and you'll get sent a password. So we can sign up for an account here, you don't need any special codes to sign up an account, just an email address. So I've already signed up here, use my email address, I log in there. Once that logs in, Magic Key will start downloading. I can then go and select the download I want. I want the current stable one again for Windows here. I'll save that file there. Now I've already pre-downloaded a version as well, so you don't have to wait for me to download Magic Key again. So in my downloads folder, I've got the latest version of Magic Key off downloaded here. I'm going to run the executable. And I'm going to install Magic Q. That runs through and installs all of the Magic Q programs. That includes Magic Viz, our free visualizer as well, and also Magic HD, our free media player as well. And once that's done, it will tell me, I can then close the installer. There we go, it's all finished now, completed, I can close the installer, I've now installed Magic Q, so I've now got the correct driver for the PC Wing on my PC. So I'm now going to switch on the PC Wing, so on the PC Wing when you power on the hardware you should see the S buttons light up in sequence going from left to right, and once that gets all the way they'll all start flashing. That indicates that the wing's on but it's not yet connected to Magic Q. The next step then is to plug in the wing via USB to your computer, like so. And now we need to install the correct driver. But by default, Windows unfortunately assigns the, the wrong driver to a wing, so we need to manually update the driver. To do that, we need to open Windows Device Manager. And the quickest way to do that on Windows Systems is to go to your start bar and just search for Device Space Manager. So I'm going to open Device Manager. And hopefully somewhere in this list I'll find the PC Wing. So in my example here it might pop up as a PC Wing somewhere as an unknown device. More than likely it's going to be as a universal serial bus controller in the list here. Now mine for some reason has come up as a universal serial converter. You might see it appear as a PC Wing Compact. Now I can prove that I'm looking at the right device. If I unplug the PC Wing from a computer that's now disappeared from this list. So we want to make sure we're updating the right device. So as I plug it back in again that serial converter then appears again. There we go, there's my wing. So I need to update the driver to give it the correct driver. To do that, right click on there and select Update Driver Software. You now have two options. First of all, is either to search automatically for the driver, or Windows unfortunately uses the wrong driver, so we need to browse the computer and manually give it the supplied Camsys driver for the wing. So we're going to browse the computer for driver software. You now have two options, where you can either browse the, for driver software on the computer, Unfortunately, again, using this method, Windows searches outside of the folders, so, so we'll use the driver it thinks is the correct one. So we must click here the Let Me Pick from a list of device drivers on my computer option, so we can specifically tell it to use the supplied driver. I'm going to click on that option there. Now you might see here, uh, you might not have this Have This button on the bottom right. If you haven't got that for any reason, you might have a list here, or you will have a list here, where you need to select Universal Serial Bus Controllers in the list, you then hit next and you'll see then the have this button on the screen here appear. So I can now hit have disk and this will then ask me to choose where the driver is kept. So if I go to browse, I'm going to go to the system Windows C drive. There we go. Inside there, in my program files, in my case it's 86, but you might just have program files on your PC depending on your installation. So I go to program files 86, I then have my campsys folder, I'll go inside there. I'm going to go to Magic Q PC, Magic Q Wing Drivers, 
Now because I've got the PC Wing Compact, I need the PC Wing Compact driver. If I had an older PC Wing or a Mini Wing, the dual DMX or one of our USB MIDI interfaces, you'd need to go into the FTDI folder. Because I've got a PC Wing, I'm going to go into this folder, and I'm going to go inside the CDM folder. And inside here I've got a few different files. The one I want to select is this file here, FTDI Bus. Select that file, hit Open, and then press OK. I'm now ready to hit next and install that driver for the wing. Now Windows is going to install the driver and it successfully updated the driver. Windows will call it a USB serial converter, don't worry if it's not called a PC wing, the USB serial converter is absolutely fine there. Close that, I've now installed the right driver so I'm ready to launch MagicQ. The first time you launch MagicQ after installation it has to unpack the heads library. So we have just over 13,000 fixtures in MagicQ at the moment so it does take a little while uh, you might think that the the, the, the program is frozen. In my case, it's done that very quickly because I'd already had Magic Cube pre-installed before. But if it's a new install, don't be afraid. If if a window does seem to freeze for a moment, it will just be unpacking the library. It could take two to three minutes, depending on your system speed. So I can see that my PC wing is connected because at the top here, I'm no longer in demo mode. So a PC wing will unlock the software from demo mode, so that banner's disappeared. That's a good indication the wing's connected. I can also see if I move some faders on my wing, they're also moving in the, the MagicQ software, which proves that the wing is correctly connected. You can also check that the software sees it as the correct device by going into a setup window here, then going to view system, view wings, and my main wing, which is controlling the 10 playbacks, we can see the status there is a PC wing compact. If I unplug the wing from my computer, We'll see that changes to not detected, so my wing's no longer seen. Plug that back in again, and the status should change back to PC wing compact again in a moment once it sees the wing. There we go, and back to seeing the wing again. In terms of setting up the outputs for DMX from your wing, by default they're always enabled, so without you having to change anything, you should get universes 1 and 2 out from the wing. The setting you're looking for for that is in the setup window again, in view settings, under this ports tab here. You have Magic Q, Wings and Interfaces. So by default that should be yet set to Yes, Auto DMX. If you've changed that to No, then you'll find that the wing doesn't connect to Magic Q. You've disabled it, so you need to set it to either Yes or Yes, Auto DMX. By default then in this Auto DMX mode, unless you change anything, Universes 1 and 2 of Magic Q will output from ports 1 and 2. You can change this if you like, so you can go into the View DMX Input Output window up at the top here. We can see that everything's just set to the default of Artnet at the moment, but because I have that auto auto DMX set, Universes 1 and 2 are still going to output from my wing. I might have a situation where I'm going to output via Artnet, say for the first four universes. That's absolutely fine, so I'm still, I'd am now be outputting via Artnet. Uh, I'm still going to get Universes 1 and 2 out from my wing, but I might say actually I want Universes 5 and 6 to output from my wing. So if I select the out type for Universe 5, double click there, I've got the option there to say MQ wing and now I'd have port 1 of my wing outputting universe 5. You'll see that there's no option there for the out universe because you've only got two ports on the wing the first universe you set to MQ wing would be port 1 and the second one port 2. So for example now if I set universe 6 out type to MQ wing there we go now to MQ wing so port 2 of the wing would now be sent we're sending DMX out from console universe 6 from Magic Cube.